hear the word cancer and everything stops. Wah, 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 cancer, wah, wah, wah. My friend said to me, oh no, not you. They were kind of like, how can you have cancer? You're so young. Well, the first thing people do when you tell them you have breast cancer is they stare at your boobs and you're like, up here. <laughs> Are those yours? Because they look really good. Most people are very surprised with my appearance, I found. They were like, well, you look so good. But you don't look sick. You don't look like you have cancer. How am I supposed to look? Is there a cancer look? Awkward. A number of people would say to me, oh, I know how you feel. It's like, do, 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 do you have leukemia too? You never know what one is going through. You know, I'll try and behave more like a cancer victim so you can feel better. A real friend in my opinion, would sit there and let you be upset. To have real empathy as opposed to sympathy, um, I think people struggle with. Everybody wants to be my doctor. Everyone offering you medical advice. You know, cannabis cures cancer. Turmeric, eat lots and lots and lots of turmeric. I just don't want any home remedies for cancer. Turmeric, is that gonna do it, really? <laughs> They don't know what to say and it's uncomfortable. I try to approach people in more of a supportive way. I'm here for you. Do you need help? What can I help you with? Uh, I think if someone tells you that they have cancer, probably the best thing you can do is just listen. I wish that people had more of an open dialogue about very heavy, sensitive topics. I think the more we talk about it, the less awkward it becomes.